Welcome to A Bit of Truth. My name is Paul Height, and we're in a new series on the life of Joseph, and it's called 12 Steps Up. And we're looking at the different tests that Joseph had to pass in order to help build his character so he could be sustained in the life assignment that God called him in. And so we began it last week kind of talking about why God brings tests in our lives, and this week we begin with the first test, and the first test is the pride test. You're going to see every test in this series begins with a P, a little alliteration. And so the pride test helps us understand that we are totally relying on God's strength and grace, and that we don't think we're something big because we accomplish something in this life. Jesus one time said, without me, you can do nothing. And it's important that we remember that. So let's get to this pride test. In uh, Genesis 37, there's a scripture that it says that Joseph was tattling on his brothers every time they did something wrong. And one night he had a dream and he told his brothers. And it says in Genesis 37, 8, his brothers respond, Shall you indeed reign over us? Will you take dominion over us? And they hated him even more because of his dreams and his words. It seemed like in the words of revealing the dream, he was a little cocky and arrogant in the way that he shared that. And so here Joseph fails the pride test. And God loves him so much and realizes, hey, Joseph, you've got to get a handle on this if you're going to rise to the calling that I have for you. The Bible says that pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall, Proverbs 16, 18. And so Joseph had to get a handle on this pride. He had to learn how to walk in humility so he would not only reach his life assignment, but stay there. And so you will face this test. I have faced this test. And you may fail it, as even I have many times. I remember when I was a teenager one time, a good friend of mine, we were talking about something, and he just blurted out, well, aren't you full of yourself? I wasn't sure what he meant. And I went home and I thought about it, and I realized, you know what? He's right. I also discovered another revelation about pride. When you're full of it, you don't know it. You just don't know it. But Jesus said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. When there's pride here, it'll eventually come out there. And so Joseph had to learn how to deal with this pride. And he didn't know that he had a pride problem until his brothers threw him into the pit. And I know that in the pit is when he took some time and realized, you know what? I have not been very kind to my brothers. I have not walked in humility. I've been too arrogant. And so this is the pride test, and thank God he gives us mercy and grace to have makeup tests, but you've got to overcome this. And uh, you have to pass this test because if you don't pass this first step, you're not going to be ready for the obstacles on the next step, and on the third step, and on the fourth step. Someone said wisely, uh, with new levels come new devils, and they're basically the different uh, obstacles and adversities that we have to take on. And the Bible says that before David took down Goliath, he took down a lion and a bear, and so do you and I. And so it begins with the pride test. And if you screwed up like I have so many times, I pray that you will say, Lord, forgive me and uh, help me. Not get victory over pride, but the next time you take the makeup exam, you say, Lord, help me to pass it with humility.